Hey and welcome to today's video. It's not a short but I hope it's a short video. I want to show you my profile for Simplify 3D to use it with the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. It does not feature at the moment uh, the AMS so you have to load the filament manual. That is super easy to do. Click here, then click on AMS, then select the filament you want to use. In my case it's this on number 3. Is A and then type load. And then the printer heats up. Homes, as you can see, and is loading the filament. And after the filament is loaded, you can see that that this line from the filament you have selected is in the color of your filament you have selected. Then we go to home, the home screen, there you see it's heating. You can also see this here on the temperature screen, it's now heating up to 250. And it's perching cleaning so and after the loading is done you start this is the G code exported from Simplify 3D and you select it and say print now so now the heat bed is heating up, I said 90 degrees, so it's heating up to 90. Now the fan's turning on. The printer is homing again. Now the printer has heated up to the temperature you have selected, minus 15 degrees and perching the nozzle again. This is part of the start script, so if you want to change that feel free to change it in the start script. Now the, the part cooler fan turned on to clean the nozzle again. Now it's doing its calibration stuff, shaking and now the homing has begun. It's first this home cleaning, not sure how to name it at this little latch on the heat bed and the temperature is lowering to 240 like original the hot bed stays at the temperature you want it but the, the nozzle is cooling down to 140 like it does in the Bamboo Studio 2. So, watching the printer again. So, after cooling down to 140, the home process is starting. There we are.
So now we are coming to the end of the home. So this was the end of the home process and the nozzle is heating up again to a specified temperature and waiting here at the front now it's heated up 260 to 70 75 now it's printing two lines at your set temperature so doing the same at the edge and now starting the part. So in my case it's the cover in base mode combined with normal mode. What I asked in my help video. I edited the file and now I have the result I wanted. So that's the video for today. I just want to present you my Simplify 3D profile. I googled and there was none so I made one. Hope you enjoy it. Happy printing and come back because if I figured out how to use the AMS in Simplify 3D I post you an update. Okay, wish you all the best, stay safe, DM4DS and or bye bye.